Mary Bell Riley, a 90-year-old San Francisco resident, has a malignant tumor behind her left eye. Because it's attached to her optic nerve, doctors are using a new radiation technique that can pinpoint her tumor without damaging her healthy surrounding tissue. The technology is called Intensity Modulated Radiotherapy, or IMRT, and it combines more precise diagnostic tools with computer-driven software programs that offer new ways to focus radiation beams. So far, there are only about a dozen IMRT systems used in medical practice, and those found are mainly at cutting-edge medical centers, including here at the University of California, San Francisco. Dr. William Wara, who chairs UCSF's Department of Radiation Oncology, says with IMRT, doctors can tailor the intensity and delivery of radiation to a particular tumor size, shape, and volume. The older way of delivering radiation would be just in a square or a rectangular um, box-like figure, occasionally blocking out and shaping the field um, two-dimensionally. But this way you can shape the field actually three-dimensionally and again conform it um, to section by section, um, millimeter by millimeter to the patient's tumor. And obviously some tumors are thicker in some places and some are thinner in other places. So it, it is the most precise way today of delivering radiotherapy and is useful in many parts of the body in giving a higher dose of radiation to the tumor and a lower dose to the normal tissue surrounding the tumor. Back in the treatment room, radiation therapists place a mask over Mary Bell Riley's face to immobilize her head during the procedure. They then double check their measurements, making sure the precise path of radiation that the software program has plotted out is on target. Once the treatment begins, the radiation gun slowly passes overhead as special lead shutters control the shape of the radiation beam. These lead shutters make a chattering sound as they open and close with rapid fire speed. The logic being the less the shutter is open, the less the radiation dose. Dr. Lynn Verhey, a medical physicist at UCSF, says researchers are still exploring even better ways to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the dose distribution. And once we can do that, we can ask our treatment planning systems to predict what that dose should look like at that point and do a quick computer verify, if you like, uh, that in fact the patient is in the right position and the dose delivery is as expected. So sometime in the not too distant future we'll be able to do that. I think that'll make people a lot more comfortable um, about doing IMRT. Although IMRT is recognized as the future of radiation oncology and the technology already has FDA approval, Verhey says these systems are not yet available at community hospitals. Because it is so different, um, we have to, to go slowly, and um, it will probably be you know, maybe a couple of years before this technology is uh, really widespread. Um, but I think we will all benefit from it. For Mary Bell Riley, having the benefit now of protecting her eyesight is immeasurable. For Science Today, I'm Larissa Brannan.